Anyway, but then we got serious. They did. We, they said this is as close as we've ever been to Osama bin Laden. Then we were serious. No high fiving, none of that. Just can we go now? And we met wow. the teams that uh, the girl that found him and all that stuff. Trained for a few days and then went to Afghanistan and waited for the green light, which we got, and then we launched. And um, we had come up with the perfect plan, rehearsed the perfect plan, 90-minute flight that we should die on, um, how we're going to take the house down. We've done this hundreds of times, so it shouldn't be a big deal. What's the worst thing that could happen, though? Someone said helicopter could crash in the front yard, so that happened. Uh, so we started off with a helicopter in the front yard. The, the pilot did it to save everyone. He so you, had, you had two helicopters. How many guys flew in in that mission? Uh, 23. 23 guys, so split evenly on each helicopter? Yeah, and then Cairo, the dog, was there, too. And Cairo, the dog. Mm-hmm. And, and so the, our plan, we were going to put guys down right in front of bin Laden's house, fast rope, everybody out. My team was going to drop snipers and a dog outside. And then my team's going to the roof and then we're going to get them that way. And that didn't happen. We, I mean, we were going to die as soon as the house blows up when we got on top. We were actually calling ourselves the Martyrs Brigade. Like, this is it. But the reason that we were so going, you thought you were gonna we die. knew we were going to die. Shot down on the way in. Immediate fight when we get there, houseborn IED. We're going to run out of fuel and then um, end our short lives in a Pakistani prison or shoot it out with a pack meal until we're all dead. Because it's not like you could have gotten, you didn't no. get air clearance. There's right? nowhere to give anyone no. a hint because there's nowhere, there's nowhere to go. You got nothing. Yeah. But we accepted it because, and we talked about this. I had a guy ask me, um, I'm going. I just need to say it out loud. If we know we're going to die, why are we going? Which is fair. And we said, we're not going after bin Laden for the fame or for the money. We're going after Osama bin Laden for the single mom who dropped her kids off at elementary school on a Tuesday. And then 45 minutes later, she jumped to her death out of a skyscraper because that's a better alternative than whatever in the hell is going on inside at 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. And her last gesture of human decency was to hold her skirt down and she killed herself. She was never supposed to be in the fight. We're supposed to be in the fight. That's where we're going. When you guys wow. got there, when you guys arrived there, though, did you know he was in the building? I was 100% sure he was in the building because of the woman that found him. She was certain. We'd get done with those training days, long days of training on the site, long hours at night talking over a, a model. And right before, you know, we get a couple hours of sleep, she would say, all right, guys, great day of training. Osama bin Laden is in the third floor of this building right now. I don't know why we're not going. Good night. She, you know, certain. But yeah. But then, you know, we, that, we, we were to the point where we weren't, there was no fear involved with this mission because we're, we accept death. This is what we came to do. Um and then you get in there, everything's wrong. I didn't know the helicopter crashed until I got inside the building and someone told me the helicopter crashed. And I said, what helicopter crashed? And he said, our helicopter crashed in the front yard. Like he walked right past it. And I'm like, well, I was looking this way or something because there's been Laden's house. And then as we're doing that, the tail of the helicopter was over the fence and the sniper with the dog, they were doing a loop to make sure no one escaped. And he came over the radio and said, Hey, guys inside, be on alert. They're definitely ready for us because they have a training mock-up of our super secret helicopter in the front yard. And the boss came over and said, no, jackass, that's ours because we crashed. <laughs> and he said, yeah, that makes a lot more sense than the shit I was just saying, doesn't it? <laughs> Weird stuff happens in dark moments. But <clears throat> yeah, we did that. Got in there and then we, uh, we went up the stairs. The woman told us Khalid bin Laden, who was his son, would be on this set of stairs, which he was. The point man killed him. We walked around him. We're down to two guys now going up the last set of stairs, uh, looking up a curtain. And um, so there was some movement behind it. I was the number two man. The point man's in front of me. And um, he was telling me, now we got to go because he could see movement. He, he's thinking those are the suicide bombers, but we can beat them if we go now. We have to go now because they're getting ready. And uh, I had no one behind me. I was like, well, I guess this is it. And I wasn't being brave. It was more of a, I'm going to blow up now and I'm tired of thinking about it. Let's just get it over with. And I squeezed him. We went up and he went through this curtain tackle these people and because he went here i have to cover his back i went this way there's osama bin laden uh three feet away standing on two feet did and, you see him like clearly yeah, yeah i recognize his nose his beard how tall he was how skinny he was uh everything about him and he's, he's not surrendering he's a threat so i gotta take him down and if you're dealing with a suicide bomber which he should have been you shoot him in the face and i shot him in the face twice and then once more on the ground and then that's it and then you know we're moving his wife to the bed. I, his two-year-old son was there. And for me, it was a father. It was like, this kid has nothing to do with this. You know, it's just humanity. Then I'm standing there. I can hear Osama Bin Laden taking his last breaths. And uh, I'm sort of stunned. And a buddy came up because there's more Navy SEALs in the room now. His buddies, my buddy came up and said, are you okay? And I said, no, what do we do now? And he smiled and said, now we find the computers. Like we do this every night. Hundreds of times you've done this. And I said, yeah, you're right. I'm back. Holy shit. And he said, yeah, you just killed Osama Bin Laden. Your life just changed. Get to work. 
Wow. So getting it. computers is gathering all the intel. Anything you can find. Yeah, anything, anything electronic, C- um, CDs, and uh, we found heroin. You know, you can only fit so much of that in your cargo pocket. Right. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> seriously. Um, but yeah, any, anything that might have a list of names, pictures, anything. And we there was so much stuff there. It would have been nice to have Pakistan actually be an ally because we should have stayed in that house for at least a week gathering all that because he was running the whole show from there. We got as much as we could though when we left. Another helicopter came in and flew us out and then we had 90 minutes to survive getting shot down. And where was the safe haven where you guys were going, where it would be safe? Afghanistan, believe it or not. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That was actually weird that because uh, we're, we're flying back and we have 90 minutes and worrying about something that is not, your worry is not going to affect your waste and your energy. So worrying about a missile is not going to stop it. So just chill, right? So we're start, we started our watches and we're counting it down. 90 minutes we got to get. And um, you're looking at your friends. I got the sniper from rescuing Captain Phillips sitting next to me. He actually gave me a Copenhagen looking at my guys and then uh, you know shit it's been 10 minutes it's been 20 it's been 30 minutes now it's about 40 minutes it's been 50 minutes we got to get to 90 minutes and you start thinking about watching a no-hitter like i'm not going to say anything <laughs> motherfuckers pitching a no-hitter. 60 minutes 70 minutes 80 minutes then like the sports analogies with uh lake placid when the american hockey team beat the russians you can hear them counting down if you look it up on youtube like 10 9 8 <clears throat> and then the pilot came over the radio and said uh for the first time in your life, gentlemen, you're going to be happy to hear this. Welcome to Afghanistan. And that's the end of the mission. And then we showed them. and Which would no longer that's be crazy. the case today? No, it wouldn't be safe, Ava. I'd rather stay in Pakistan. <laughs>